Hey friends, we are back for another Hoop House video. We thought that we would share with you guys uh, some of the ways that we've decided to vent our Hoop House. As you may know, with greenhouses and Hoop Houses, it can get extremely hot inside, especially depending on where you live. And we live in the state of Virginia, so it gets super hot in here in the summertime. So it's very important to have ventilation in your Hoop House and good airflow and circulation uh, to keep the plants healthy. We have a window in the back of the hoop house and then we also have a window in the door. We've got two fans in here right now, so it pushes the air through and circulates it throughout the day. So what we have decided to do to add even more ventilation and airflow in our hoop house is the bottom level of the foundation. It's about two feet tall and we are going to roll up the plastic on the bottoms of the hoop house and then we're going to add screen all along the bottom of the wood there. That way there will be more airflow in here yet it will still keep all the bugs out and of course the chickens from eating my veggies. So right now the hoop house plastic is just held down and fastened with these wood boards that we nailed in. So we don't want to cut the plastic because in the winter time for our um, fall crop we want to be able to roll the plastic back down to keep the heat inside the hoop house. But in the summer we want to keep most of the heat out so that it's comfortably warm in there for the plants. So what we're going to do as you can see Joe is popping up the wood so that we can roll the plastic up and add the screen. When we pop this wood up here, there's not gonna be anything holding the plastic down to the hoop house, so we're gonna add another, we're actually gonna add this strip of wood here that we're taking off. We're gonna add it up here so that it holds and fastens the plastic down to the hoop house. little brownie mama came over to say hi. This is our oldest hen on the homestead. She's our little grandma. Oh, hello, Snow. Snow is very curious and she always comes over when we're working on stuff to check it out. <laughs> hey, girl. What, I don't have anything for you right now. Yeah.
The plants are really going to like the extra airflow, especially on those very humid summer Virginia days. No brownie. So we're just gonna staple the screen in place and then cut it after.
come the dang chickens. <laughs> Gotta work fast, Joe. Chickens are trying to get in our hoop house. <laughs> There's little black hen and her babies. <laughs> Hi, Snow. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> You guys want in so bad, but you can't get in. You can look, but no touch. <laughs> Look at that! 
What are you doing, Snow? Huh? Pretty girl. All right, so that's one side done. We're gonna do the other side as well, just like we did this one. And I can tell you guys the temperature in the hoop house is already so much cooler and we don't even have the fans on right now. So the plants have this little breeze going through them and I think that they're gonna love it and they're gonna thrive. So this was definitely a great upgrade to this hoop house. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again it's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave. Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today. Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days. Teenagers with two men. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So I think that that was a really good idea to roll up the sides of the hoop house and screen in the bottom to allow more airflow in the hoop house. The plants seem to like it and it's keeping the chickens out and the bugs out at the same time. So I think it's a win-win. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I would love for you to stick around. All right, you guys, we'll see you on the next video.